Daniel chapter 4 begins with, well, listen to the very first verse, Nebuchadnezzar the king. That pretty much summarizes most of the chapter because it has to do with Nebuchadnezzar's pride. It starts off with Nebuchadnezzar the king. To all peoples, nations, languages that dwell in the earth, peace be multiplied to you. And he goes on to say this about himself. I was at rest in my house and I was flourishing in my palace. And then he has this dream. Nebuchadnezzar has a dream about a tree that's fruitful and that's plentiful and, and the tree gets cut down. And the dream is about Nebuchadnezzar because of his pride, because of him thinking that everything's about him, God deals with him. And this is this crazy, crazy dream and this crazy, crazy thing that happens to him. In fact, the story goes on. He says this, at the end of 12 months, he's walking around the royal palace of Babylon. And he said this, is not this the great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty. And while the words were still in his mouth, a voice from heaven, Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken, the kingdom has departed from you. And the story's told and the dream was fulfilled that he became like a wild animal and he lived out in the fields and he ate the grass and God dealt with the pride of Nebuchadnezzar. And that's a familiar story throughout scripture. You know, a haughty spirit, a proud look, on and on it goes, talking about that those who think more highly of themselves that God eventually deals with. God calls all of us to recognize and realize that at the cross, hey, we're all equal. We're all sinners saved by grace different gifts, different callings, different positions in what I would say the body of Christ. But you know what? All the same. All sinners saved by grace. Nebuchadnezzar, who lifted himself up so high that God had to bring him down low. It's a great lesson. It's an amazing story. Chapter 4 of the book of Daniel has to do with a king who got too proud and thought he was more mighty than God himself.